Greetings, Crad here. In today's lesson on the Overready Boss version 5.1 upgrade, we're going to be talking about the program memory organization. So what we're talking about here is the ability to program one single flashlight for four completely different scenarios. And you're going to be able to switch on the fly the way that the interface of the flashlight works. So depending on the way that you intend to use it at a given time, it's going to function the way that you want. Now that's going to be done by independently programming four separate files. Up to. You can ignore one. You can use all four. Do whatever you want. Uh, you could always keep it in the same one if you feel like it. But this is going to give you extreme flexibility with the overready boss. Um, so when I say each mode is going to be programmed completely independently. So you're going to cycle to a specific mode on the flashlight, and we're going to get to that in a second. Um, you'll cycle to file one. Then you'll put it into programming mode. You'll go to the LuxRC website, um, have everything set up the way that you want. You'll click generate on that video, and you'll hold the flashlight up to the screen to program that file. Um, now once you're done programming that file, you'll be able to switch to file two and program that one however you want. Maybe you'll change one thing from file one. Maybe you'll completely change every setting from file one. Uh, that's going to be totally up to you. So um, everything's going to be completely independent. Memory configuration, uh, balance protection, motion sensor, double click to high. All of those features that are going to be talked about in separate videos, they're all going to be programmable independent to that specific file. So that file, treat it as if it's one individual flashlight. Uh, think of it as you're programming four different boss flashlights, but you're only buying one, you're only carrying one. So we're going to cover pages one, two, three, and four. You can see I have them pulled up along the top here. Uh, starting on page one. So this is going to be an eight mode low to high setup for a single cell. So if you're running a single 18650 or if you have the smaller configuration with a single 18350, these are the output options that are going to come as the default. So it's going to be a red mode, 4, 9, 12, 16, 20, 24, uh, reaching the max output for a single cell configuration of 28 as the eighth mode. Um, for all of the pages, these options along the bottom are going to be the same, so I'm just going to cover them once. Um, no memory, lithium ion battery protection is going to be active, battery stretch is active, and bounce protection is off. Moving on to page two, it's going to be that same eight mode low to high setup, but for a two cell configuration. So it's going to start on red, you're going to get 5, 11, 15, 18, 22, 28, and it's going to be able to reach that maximum after burning mode, um, the max out output mode based on having two cells. Moving on to page three, that's going to be a four plus four. So if you're using a single 18650 or you're using two cells in series, um, the, the, the flashlight's going to know that and it's going to switch between either the four modes as you see along the top of one through 28, or it's gonna use the four modes that you see along the bottom if you have two cells of one through after burning mode. Uh, for the final page, page four, it's also gonna be a four plus four setup. This is gonna be the tactical configuration. So say you're in a, a tactical scenario, you wanna make sure that the light always comes on in its maximum output, regardless of what type of battery or you're running, um, this is going to be a good configuration for you. Um, so if you are in a tactical scenario, you might be under duress. There's a, a potential for you to um, kind of fumble and skip through that first mode by accident if you're um, kind of pressing too fast. So the second mode is also going to be that, that maximum output mode. Um, now, if you want to dial it back, say you're going to leave it on for an extended period of time and you don't want to drain the batteries too fast or have the light overheating, um, you can deliberately click through uh, maximum output twice to get to the third mode, which is going to be a, a slightly reduced but still very high output um, mode. So if you're using the two cells, it's going to be the after burning mode, after burning mode, and then 29% output, which is level 25. 
Okay, so you're going to be able to switch these on the fly, and you're going to do that by using the, the four pin. And it's going to be a little bit different for you guys coming from uh, the version 5.0. So you're used to um, kind of slower presses on the 5.0 that's going to be represented here. Uh, so to enter pins for the, the 5.0, it's going to be um, a quick flash, and then you're going to wait one second in between flash, and then one second, and so on, based on uh, the numbers that you're trying to enter for the pin. But this is just four quick flashes, a one second delay, and then you click to hold it on. So I'll show that now. And now you're going to see both the red and white are flashing and that's indicating the file that you're on. So now we're on file one, two, and so forth. When you settle on the file that you want, say file three, you just click it again um, so that it's now off and you're locked in on file three. Now say you've had the flashlight in a drawer or on a shelf or in a backpack or whatever for a while and you, you, you forget where you left off, right? You're like, uh, was I on file one, file three? Um, you want to check that, but you don't necessarily want to change the mode that you're on. Uh, so one, two, three, four, wait, and then click on. I'm on file three, then click off. So just that easy. You've checked that you're on file three. And on that note, we're going to wrap up this lesson. Please join us on lesson two, where we'll discuss double click to high.